Hey everyone, we're going to look at the date diff function in Excel today. And this one's pretty cool because it's a special secret function, I like to say, because it does not show up at all on the formulas tab looking at the date and time categories here. So as you can see here, we go from date to date value. So it's uh, one of those little s secret ones here. If you were to type equal date uh, diff, and as soon as you start typing date diff, uh, you know, it doesn't show up at all. But when you do an open parentheses, then it pops in here. Okay, so you can search the help. I'm in Excel 2013, and it tells us here that calculates the number of days, months, or years between two dates. This function is provided for compatibility with Lotus 1, 2, 3. All right, so you can look that up later if you want, and I'm going to share with you a few examples on how this works. So it's a pretty simple formula. If you get it uh, down, you're going to have the syntax is going to have three arguments. The start date. Let me get out of here first. It's going to, we're going to have the start date for the first argument. The second argument will be the end date, and third will be the interval, such as um, a Y for years, M for months, and D for days. Now you need to put the M or the Y or the D in parentheses, or excuse me, quotation marks if you're going to type in the formula. You do not need quotation marks around if you're going to put the reference interval off the side, linking it to a cell reference. Okay, let's start off and find out how many years we have between the first train date and the second most recent train date. So here we go. Equal date diff. So remember the start date, A2, comma, and date B2, comma, and then Y in quotation marks for years. Pretty awesome. Okay, let's do months. Same thing, equal date diff, open parentheses, first date, comma, second date, comma, M for months. And I see that we have 25 months between first date and second date here. Okay, now this time I'm just going to type a D in uh, E1 and link to that. So similarly, A2 is my first date. B2 second date and the interval will just be E1 F4 it to lock it down okay here we go um, awesome pretty amazing okay so now uh, one th one cool thing is if you if you're talking about leap year and this happens to be this year we do have a leap year so February 29th 2016 let's compare that to March 1st 2015 so if I just wanted to know how many days between I could just type equals B1 minus A1 365 days but what if we were trying to get um, some kind of a conditional formatting that could pick up on whether or not we have over a year expiration over a year period. So check this out. Date diff March 1st, 2015 compared to February 29th, 2016 referencing years. Now think about this. What's the answer going to be here? Zero because the date diff understands completed years or completed months so it's just hanging out here it's technically not been a year let me increase that to three one 2016 and there we go bingo right there okay let's use that logic now and put this together with a conditional formatting trying to make all of these dates here, if it's been over a year, uh, render 
the color red. Okay. So select your dates, go to the Home tab, click Conditional Formatting, New Rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. All right, so it's going to look like this. Equals date diff, open parentheses. First date will be B2, but I need to hit F4 twice. So I'm only locking down the column, not the row number. Comma, I'll use the today function, since that will always guarantee that I'm referencing today's measure. It recalculates every time you update the the workbook. Okay, then that's a quote Y quote. That completes the date diff, but that won't do it yet because it says formulates evaluate form, format values where this formula is true. So if I were to type greater than or equal to one, I'm going to red flag all the dates that are greater than one year, completed a year. So format. I'll just come right in here, do red, bold, that will do the job. Awesome. Awesome. So, hey, thanks for watching another uh, Excel tutorial. See you next time.